Robert Harvey. The Saints through Greg. Tackle on again, it's Fletcher. And the Saints go forward from the centre of the ground. Goes a bounce and then looks for Lockett on a lead and gets him. It's 45 metres out. These are normally bread and butter for the big man. He's got it. Well, he's lost the runner, but to Harvey, Harvey caught. Third, oh, high That's tackle. too high. Should have been a free kick to Harvey. Far too high. Izard, running player is Gary O'Donnell into an open goal and bang right through the middle. Good play, the Bobbins. Mark Thompson doing well early. Onto the left foot, transfers play right up wide. Brendan Bauer, great play, running with the yeah. final of the ball. He has a bounce. An open goal coming up onto the left foot. Bauer, oh, terrific attempt. Touch right on the line or not. No, it's a goal. And Winmar to the half forward line, courage by Harvey, unlucky not to be paid the mark. Salon Butters up on the left foot, brings it in towards goal. It's a good another goal to the Saints. Receiving from Pekin, this is Robert Harvey, in towards Lockett. Lockett at the back, gets a hand pass. Tony Lockett sprints into the open goal and slams it through for his third. Saints by five points. G. Allen out of the ground, out of the air, then snaps the goal and kicks one. Over the back. Socket off the ground by Frankie Coughlin. Low. Oh, look at that for strength. Winmar, danger here for Essendon as Winmar puts it back. Oh, oh brilliant no. goal by Winmar. In the space, plays on. Must be called play on. He is. Dwyer not a wake up. Dick in the pocket and a good kick again by Thompson. He found kick it a moment ago, but this will take a very good kick. Drop punt, leans over it. Just kicked it all right. At Waverley Park. And what a day we had for football at Waverley Park. Superb conditions and an excellent crowd to see the Saints tackle the Bombers. Both teams had named recruits in their lineups Willie Dick from Perth, Brendan Bauer, Richmond, and Sean Denham, Geelong, to bird for Essendon, while James Hurd came in for Terry Danaher. St Kilda rushed in Michael Ford, ex Footscray, Geelong pair Darren Flanagan and Adrian Fletcher, and also Melbourne Stephen Clark. The Bombers had won the last 20 matches between the two sides. The Saints, last being victorious, can you remember, round 14, 1980. Our commentators this afternoon are Bruce McAvaney, Peter McKenna and Don Scott. We pick up play at the start of the third quarter and St Kilda is leading by just four points. Start of the second half. Magnificent first half of football. The Saints lead by four points at 9-9-9-5. Lockett's kick three. Flanagan wins the first punch away. Michael Long, who ignited Essendon late in that second term. Bauer has to sit and wait. Pekin's handball to Craven inside. Left foot round the body. It sits for Wanganeen. Had one look and then off one leg, kicks it about 60 metres and finds Somerville, who started a centre-half back, was given the stick and then went to centre-half forward. Goes towards Dick at full forward in the front spot. Good take by Denham, the snap. Is a beauty. What a start for the Bombers. 10 5 9 9. Suddenly they're back in front. There he is the little fellow. He had a sensational year a couple of years ago combining with Robert Scott at Geelong. Just hasn't been able to reproduce that form that he showed as a youngster. Let's hope he's got his second lease on life, football life here at Essendon. A player that's got a lot of pace. Use that pace up around the ground as well as the goal line. He'll be a real acquisition. Sean Denham. Well, the Bombers die by two points. Centre of the ground, very important. Mark Thompson to the half forward line, well smothered. Players racing out a great tackle. And that was put on by David Johnston. Wasn't that a good shot? Umpires today, Michael Abbott and Gavin Dorr. Now, is that a free kick? No. Flanagan, caught. Gets in a hand pass. Robert Harvey, very skillful player, Harvey. Crawley, playing on the half-back line at the moment. Gary O'Donnell back with the flight of the ball. Oh, here's danger. As coming in towards goal is Stephen Clark. Lock it at the back. One-handed, and it's one behind. He couldn't get his boot to it. And... He's doing a good job down there, Fox, isn't he? It's a good contest. I mean, Lockett really is. Lockett is in his body. Umpire, Don. 
There's the kick in to the half-back line, Chris Danaher. It's an entertaining duel, that is for sure. Salmon back with the flight. Very mobile, plays on and kicks it long to the half-forward line. Was looking for Denham. Grant chipped in. Just to point the difference. Denham cheating on that occasion, peeling off before the ball was there, hoping it would have come over, and Grant did the right thing by running straight at it. Big crowd, warm day, and uh, you'd think that uh, they were playing for a huge stake here, the way they've gone at it. Flanagan and also Somerville. Wanganeen, no, it did go out. Started slowly, Wanganeen, went to the interchange bench, but uh, fired up just before half-time. He's out off the ground early after kicking a goal for Essendon. Somerville wins the tap. Chris Danaher, who's kicked a couple of goals today, hits Flanagan. Taken by Dwyer, but caught by Johnston. His second good tackle in this half. Greg's handball was wild. Now Buick. Oh. Newport is coming to the ground. The kick by Buick, not good. Grant takes it at centre wing, half back. David Grant across the ground, a half back. He's got a couple of loose men. This is Russell Morris. Kick it on the mark. Now, out wide is Pekin. Schilder trying to get it forward. McGuire to the half forward line. Now, where's Lowe? O'Donnell back with the flight. Good mark. Good strong mark in front of Traven. Gary O'Donnell. Yeah, that's 50. 50. Surely that is 50. Gary O'Donnell. Well, he was the one that was warned by the umpire. Now, two Essendon players combined. David Johnston having a pretty good game. So is Mark Harvey. Harvey to the half-forward line, kick it, waits underneath it, and he marks. Too much latitude by Davenport. The short one is on, great kick by Kickett. A beautifully directed kick, and finds Thompson and Hurd by himself. Oh, here's another short one, Hurd. Now, will he play on casually? Steps in, bang. Is that another one of the Bombers? Yes, it is. Great play, this It's been a strange old game. It's 11-5 to 7-10. The Bombers have kicked the last four goals in the game. They kicked seven of the first ten, and then St Kilda kicked the next six. Here's Buick. Dick and uh, Burke. Well played, Burke. It was a hard ball, and he won it well, and he's given a chance here. There's an absolute paddock. Clark's away with a second bounce, and can go towards the goal front with a drop punt. Craven and O'Donnell. O'Donnell punches to the boundary line, and wins that duel. Yes, they kicked seven of the first ten, Essendon. St Kilda kicked the next six, and the Bombers have kicked the last four. So you can see the change in trends in this match. Yes, a good stat, that one. Salmon versus Allen. Let's see if Allen, he's got a huge leap. See if he can come over Salmon here. Well, actually, they both missed that one. And he's Salmon. a good job to actually edge Salmon out on that occasion, Allen. Well, where's that moustache he had earlier in the year? Paul Salmon. Who? <laughs> Paul Salmon had a mo a few weeks back. Looks like he shaved it off. Probably took it off for the day, do you think? Well, there he is, tapping it to ground. Oh, free kick. Away they go. This is Bauer. Somerville drops what he should have taken. And over the line it goes. It's halfway between centre wing and half forward for the Saints. And they trail by seven points. Essendon coming out with two early goals in the second half. Somerville for oh, oh, well, pies it oh, no. Well, we've got a good view of that. There's Newport. Back to Dwyer, who attacks from the centre square. Salmon should go back and take it all one hand. Free kick, though, going to Essendon. It should go to O'Donnell. Yes, and it's well it picked out, by, because Bowie really did have hold of him. Well spotted by the umpire. Wide to Chris Danaher. He's played a useful game. Short. To Johnston is a loose man if he can get it to long goes sideways Bauer still long loose draws Winmar and now kicks it to long with uh, some precision and turns Pekin inside out goes short there was not a lot of percentage a good take though by her he's kicked to the goal front missed by Burke Devonport and Dick back there now O'Donnell a hard ball Frawley Heard with him, puts a good tackle on him. Craven under pressure, kicks it straight out of bounds on the full. And suddenly the Bombers are on top. And Dick and Kickett were behind on that occasion when the ball came down. You can't have forwards behind as they were because the ball will be cleared as St Kilda cleared it. 
Well, Chris Danaher, oh, look at this, on his own, Salmon. Oh, he Go. should move it. The leader's on out wide. Here's the lead. And there's the mark. Good play, Peter Somerville, that time. And that's much better forward play by the Bombers as they lead to the space. Good well, play. the predictable thing is that you knew Salmon was going to kick it. And what he did, he could time his lead accordingly, Peter. Well, what I liked about it, he didn't just blaze away up in the air to the goal square hoping someone would take a mark. Something constructive happened. Sumville's normally a pretty good kick for goal. This is a bit very handy one at this stage of the game. As your kick from 46 metres. Peter Sumville, does he swing it back in? Let's have a look at the goal umpire. Yes. Peter Sumville's first and a handy little break here to the Bombers. They lead by 13 points. Sumville is unfortunate, as I said earlier in the game, that he does play at this side, or with this side, Essendon. A ruckman has got to play in the ruck. He came as a ruck, played his junior football as a ruckman. They're trying to make a position player out of him. He's just not up to it. But as a ruckman, he's got a lot of future. Let's hope it just hasn't passed him by. 77 to 64. The Bombers have stretched this lead now to 13 points. Suddenly the Saints are being besieged. Here's Wanganeem through the centre. Denham sat and waited courageously. Johnston took it well. Couldn't get an effective handball well away. Done, Thompson, Thompson played it beautifully. In the front spot, Devonport long. A little get to Buick. Buick goes sideways. Will it sit for a Willie Dick? It didn't. Burke back there with him to try and worry him out of it. Dick looks for a free kick. Newport off the ground. And Essendon should have made more of that. It was a set-up goal there. Well, Kicker was behind initially, but it was well recovered by Essendon to get the hand pass away. But kick it. Second time the ball's been down there, and the second time he's been behind. Well, Bu Buick should have had a shot for goal. That was the whole point. He was on his right foot. Oh, great tackle, Mark Thompson. Essendon really having a red-hot go here. Half forward, that's too high on Clark. Oh, should have been a free kick. Hand pass by Flanagan. Steve Newport now peeking as the Saints go forward. Tim Pekin, the short pass to Allen. He's found him. Michael Long doesn't look too fit as he's going past that CUB sign. Usually he's sprinting. We'll just wait and see what he's like. Allen Lockett at the back. Oh, great mark by the big fella. Big, strong mark by Tony Lockett. And it is almost impossible to contain when that ball's kicked down quickly. What a good, strong mark. And he'll kick from about 30 metres. And actually, the trainer has gone out to Michael Long. So they wouldn't want to lose him, would they? Well, he's had five kicks. He's kicked three goals. And Fox has actually done reasonably well on him. But you cannot stop him all day. He's just too good. Tony Lockett. Almost directly in front. Lays back. Oh, he's kicked a little bit to the right, but he might have just got it. Yes. So Tony Lockett has kicked four. And the Saints fight back. 70 to 77. We go back to Waverley now. St Kilda has added one goal. Essendon has added one goal too. And the difference is nine points with seven minutes remaining in the third quarter. Nine points the margin. The Bombers lead. Winmar has been fairly quiet in this term. Or socket off the ground of the half forward line. Russell Morris waits for it. Salmon's hurt too, Peter. Well, he brings it to half forward. Oh, good mark by Harvey. Read it well. Having a terrific duel with Allen. Mark Harvey, nine kicks. Oh, he's kicked it badly, though. He's kicked it straight to Crawley. On to Stephen Clark. And St Kilda go forward. Clark, the half forward line. Over the back was Flood. Oh, good play to get in that hand pass. Mark Thompson oh, well cleverly done. transfers play. How's that for vision? On to Wanganeen. Wanganeen kick it. He flies. And Derek Kickett has marked. I paid Kickett. Derek Kickett has been paid the mark. It's well, been Grant was in front. Well, the secure players reckon they might have had a good grab of that one. Kickett has been paid. A vital mark, 40 metres from goal. And he's made a big difference to the forward line with his mobility. He's also been given a certain amount of latitude, hasn't he? Derek Kickett. Well, he's hit 12 and 3. He's kicked 2, and they want this, the Bombers. Kickett with the drop punt. The goal up by does not move. Another one. 
to the Essendon Utility player. So Jerry Kickett has kicked three and Essendon 14-7 to St Kilda 11-10. Well he could be described as mercurial Kickett. There it is. Who's coming as the St Kilda fans believe that David Grant took the mark. He was in front position. It's a great lead by Kickett. Look, they both had a server that one. Controversial mark and then the goal to kick it. And puts the Bombers 15 points in front of the park. Salmon and Flanagan. Wanganin who's been very important in this quarter from the centre square. Grant rebounds it to half forward. Winmar to Coglin. Back inside to Harvey on the run to Lockett. Looks oh, for a free kick and gets it. Kick. He's got it. He's going to pay it. He'll come back. Tony's uh, having a talk to the umpire, but you're in good form here, Tony, because you're going to get a free kick. Well, the umpire are in the right position. I believe these umpires probably would pay a lot of these holding decisions if they saw them. I don't think they see a lot of them. On that occasion, Fox was holding Lockett. They both went to ground. And the umpire only 20 metres from the actual incident and had a clear vision of exactly what happened. Well, he's kicked four, hit the post on another occasion, and this to bring St Kilda within nine points. Been goal for goal in this quarter after the uh, Bombers came out with the first couple. And the champion goes forward, and the Saints are within nine points. Five to Lockett, 12-10 to 14-7. Bill Muir holds the record of eight goals, I think it is. And that was against Essendon. Billy Moore. Billy Moore, I should say. And Lockett only needs about 80 odd goals to pass his record at St Kilda. Moore kicked 300, 746 goals from 195 games, an average of 3.7. But Lockett's well up on that average, I think it's about 4.6. Well, just under four and a half minutes of play left in the third term. A vital four and a half minutes of play as Winmar goes to the half forward line. Here's Mark Harvey. Oh, he's doing well, Harvey. Short pass to Thompson. Oh, he's got to get rid of it. Oh, very slow, but the bounce comes off to Paul Salmon. He's had a good quarter, the big fella. Salmon to the half forward line. Over the back is kick it. Dodges and weaves. Gives it to O'Donnell. O'Donnell kicks. And O'Donnell has missed. Oh, he should have kicked that one. The great thing about Essendon at the moment is they're playing straight down the centre, aren't they? The players are running and they're keeping the ball in the centre. And it's just the quickest way home. And it's also a sign of a side playing with confidence if you can go down the centre. Morris Coughlin will be the target. He's got a paddock if he takes it. Does. Now he's away with a bounce through the centre square in a second one. Goes to centre half forward to low. Not quite as dominant uh, in this term. Goes long. Will it get as far as Lockett? It has. Fox versus Lockett. A good contest again. Well read though by Pekin. 13 10 to 14 8. Pekin has kicked his first. And suddenly the Saints get two in a row and put the pressure right on. He doesn't kick, kick too many goals, Tim Pekin. Played 150 odd games both at Fitzroy and St Kilda. It's so his 36th career goal, Tim Pekin. Good player at Fitzroy, a very disciplined player. And a good pickup by St Kilda. St Kilda moved Wingmar into the centre square. Oh, they'll get it out again this time through Coughlin. Up towards Lockett. Fox in front. Good play by Fox. Soccers it off the ground, but the dangerous Winmar has got it. Over to Lockett. Tony Lockett for goal number six. Oh, beautiful looking drop punt. Oh, it just sneaks the wrong side of the punch. And the crowd was roaring when the big ball forward had that shot. All, all of a sudden, St Kilda are revitalised as O'Donnell receives from Bauer. And kicks to Salmon. Harvey to come in late. Well played, Salmon. He has been excellent in this term. Danaher had to stop and wait for the Salmon backs him up, then strides 
like uh, a loping giraffe through centre wing taken by Morris but the free kick mate yes no, it's gonna go to the other St Kilda player Grant being held by Kickett yes so from centre half back well it's been one of those games Peter the Saints are on top for the moment but it's uh, swayed from one to the other low again getting some touches now goes very short to Devonport side steps Ooh. around Johnston Way off. Goes towards Lockett. Can Big Tony make it? He'll try and half volley it. He'll try and turn inside out. Fox gets hold of him. Buick gets back. Pekin can't get to him. Buick with precision finds O'Donnell. It's been a wonderful match to Thompson. Before a crowd of uh, 44,500. Bird. Simon Madden. Oh, oh, it's it's dragged the ground. Had to be a free kick to Madden. Now, a goal here before three-quarter time, we've got one minute and 40 to go, would be very, very handy. Some of all off. That's why Madden is back on. Yes, they're not running the three big men, which is good thinking. The short pass is on, the lead is there, and the mark has been taken by, guess who? Willie Dick. How did they find him? Well, it was a good pass by Simon Madden, a beautiful pass by the big ruckman. It was a pass, intentionally. It was a different... The lead was on, he kicked it right out in front of him, Don. Well, here he is, he's only had four kicks, but this is a very important one. The boy from Perth, as he swings in at goal, it's close. It's a goal. Willie Dick has kicked two. And the Bombers are handy one getting close to three-quarter time, 15-8 to 13-11. So only eight points the difference at three quarter times and Kilda 90 and the Bombers 98. Let's go back to that very big crowd at Waverley Park for what turned out to be a thrilling final quarter. Start of the final term. It's been a thriller at Waverley. Magnificent game with Essendon leading by eight points at 98 to 90. Salmon wins the tap. Chris Danaher through the centre. First goal important. If Essendon can pinch a little break here, it might be enough. The Saints will be looking for Lockett and Low. Flanagan versus Salmon. Heard, they took it off him. Harvey wide to Gwynmar. Gwynmar to half forward. Lowe's his target in the front spot. Flood against him. Here's O'Donnell. Had to backtrack. He did it well. Then snuck a bounce in and a clever kick in the end to gain 20 metres and run it out of play. One player that's done really well since quarter time, and that is David Flood. A little critical in the first quarter. He's been moved on to low. Low cut him apart a little bit in the third quarter, but really, Flood has done a remarkably good job because low really did take some of all the play. Certainly did. He had 11 marks in the first half. His Mark Harvey has been a very good player. He goes to ground. This has been a magnificent game of football. Oh, Greg gets it to Harvey. Harvey shoots a goal. And Robert Harvey has kicked a great goal. Stephen Gregg, I called him Dean Gregg earlier, involved in that, getting oh, it across is. to Dean Gregg. That's right. Oh, Dean right. just put down the wrong... <laughs> but there he is, Robert Harvey, the wingman. A great possession getter for uh, St Kilda last year. Seventh in the league as far as possessions go, Robert Harvey. Well, we said the first goal will be important. It went to the Saints. They're within two points. 14, 12, 15, 8. Salmon wins the tap. Chris Danaher to Buick. An ineffective kick missed by Devonport. Denham sits over the top of it. Then cleverly. Wanganeen. Still Wanganeen. Dwyer runs him into the ground. Herds there with Grant. Fletcher goes to ground. Back to Devonport. Swings it wide. Windmar underneath it and he takes the mark. Greg unselfishly allowed him to. Oh, well long done, did it well. Now Pekin to win it back for Windmar. And well played also by Bauer. What about the reflexes of Michael Long then? He just anticipated that quick kick, didn't he? Well, there's one thing about Long. He's really worked on the defensive side of his game. He's really be starting to become a complete footballer. He's got a pace to chase the ball and run down his opponents, and he's really team-orientated. Madden getting it down to Thompson, who's been a good player. He loses it, though, to Fletcher. He gets shirt fronted. Knocked on by Newport. Winmar crashes his way through centre wing. The long kick. Lockett versus Fox. Lockett. Oh, nearly 
three bites he needed. Instead of the hurdle, lock it again, received from Coughlin. The big full forward kicks a goal and he's missed to the right. He's very disappointed with himself. One point the margin. Five points he's kicked today, Tony Lockett. Well, he's also kicked five goals. Five, five from the big full forward as O'Donnell kicks it to Sam and he should mark. He's got backup support but from Harvey. From half back, chips it. Hurd sits underneath it. The boy from Ainsley. Across to Bauer. The boy from Richmond to half forward. Denham versus Dwyer. Still Dwyer, well played. Denham with him. That was a contest. We've had a few of those today. He's done well today, Dwyer. Let's hope he can continue on the, in this vein for the rest of the season. Johnson getting ready to come on for Essendon. They've got their three big men on together. Good close up to Flanagan. Somerville worked his way to the front. Dwyer and Denham. It eluded them all. The handball came out to Morris from Fletcher. Morris in towards centre half forward. Lowe's in the front position and takes the mark. Essendon about to make a change. Johnson coming back on. Windmark kicks towards Lockett. Fox is there. He should take it. Oh. One hand. Disappointing. Coglin. Grenville. Clark. Coglin with it again. Runs into the pocket. Goes back. And missed. Fox went for that punch from in front. That's when you're very worried about your opponent. Willie Dick going off for Essendon. Johnson coming on. So Clark's behind. And scores are level. Uh, normally the side that has the most scoring shots often wins this game. Which would mean you would probably favour St Kilda, but it's been such an even contest all day. It'll be uh, pretty unwise to predict who's going to win it from here. Here's Brad Fox. He's had a terrific duel down there with Tony Lockett. One-on-one -on -one contest. Devonport couldn't mark. Good hand pass. Mick Dwyer. The long kick. Low at the back. Flood well takes front Flood. position. Here's Tim Allen on the left foot. A beautiful long raking kick that he's missed. Saints lead by a point. 29 shots to 23. Fox goes wide. Winmar versus Bauer. Winmar's played brilliantly. Newport and Bauer oh, hanging on to one really? another. Test of strength. I suppose that's fair enough. Both were yeah. at fault, weren't they, on that occasion? They are and Newport. They weren't intent on the ball. They were only intent on one another. Umpire had really, I suppose, no alternative. Common sense umpire, and let's just let the game go. 99 to 98. Seven wins the tap, but only as far as Newport. Thompson cleverly to Buick. About to have his 11th kick to centre wing. Johnson takes the mark. Oh, not Johnson. Uh, Somerville takes the mark. Done better since he's gone to centre half forward. The kick to Thompson. A bit of danger here. The bomber mops up and then goes short. Johnston sold a handball and then took it back and then kicks it to half forward to the space. Taken by Dwyer. Oh, tackle by Wanganeen. Now Devonport. Can the Saints increase this lead? Dwyer, Devonport, Harvey, who usually weaves a bit of magic, kicks it to centre wing. Uh, which way will it bounce? It favours Stewie Lowe. Low to half forward, uh, taken by Gary O'Donnell since half time. He's been great. He's got no backup support, so he goes for the long hand pass. Winmar has looked at his game, taps it in, still in play. Look oh, at well O'Donnell. Done, O'Donnell. Terrific play by Gary O'Donnell. Now David Flood, all oh, loose men everywhere for Essendon. They've got a big chance here. Chris Danaher, Madden leads to half forward. There's no one back in goal square. If it hits the deck, well, there's still no one back there for us, and then the hand pass comes Wanganine in. Wanganine again, a great tackle. Also, Danaher, Mad good stuff. Simon Madden, oh, handball straight to peak, and all the pressure is enormous out there. Devonport versus Buick. The race is on, and the ball is handballed to the line. Some great efforts out there. The run of Stephen Clark to run down O'Donnell. Yet, O'Donnell wasn't deterred. He followed on, got it up. Uh, to the boundary line, then Flood coming through. Tackles by Wanganeen. There's some terrific stuff out there. Point the difference. The Saints lead. Salmon. Devonport. A high one. Low. Oh, free kick to low, surely. Yes, Flood all over him, wasn't he? Here's Thompson, who's got better as the game's gone on. Johnston and Peak. And well played, Johnston. Now long. Caught. Good tackle, Peek, and, and Dwyer wins it to Fletcher. 
who should go on with it to Harvey, who will look for Lockett, and dipping in Coughlin. Well, the peak and tackle was the big one, wasn't it, on uh, Long? Great anticipation there. I might have made a mistake earlier. I said Stephen Clark ran down O'Donnell. It might have been Adrian Fletcher. No, it was Clark. It was Clark. It was they dead right. Look alike. Dead right. Here's Coughlin, who's uh, no certainty. He's uh, awkward, but he's 35 metres out. He's kicked one. This to put the Saints seven points in front. Drop punt. Good judge, Bruce. Well, he's just no good thing, is he? You wouldn't take threes on Frankie from there. He didn't look... <laughs> take fours. I've known, you, I've known you to take threes on. They get beaten on <laughs> protest like Scalacci yesterday. <laughs> Gary O'Donnell played a great game, since, particularly since half-time. Oh, he's getting himself into trouble here. Oh, that wasn't good play. He has made a few mistakes, though. In that first half, those handballs where he turned the ball over, they were... Diabolical errors. I did, I did say since half time, Doc. You did qualify yourself. That's dead right. Well, here's Lowe, who was sensational in the first half. In towards Lockett. Lockett will come from behind. Salmon from in front. Fox and didn't have eyes for the ball on that occasion. All he was looking at is Lockett as Salmon chipped into that take, yeah. take that mark. Mark Thompson. He's got no one leading. He should keep running and bouncing here because he's got no options. Now he has. Short one to Johnston. David Johnson appealing for someone to lead. Michael Long, oh, well done, chipped in. Gives it back to Johnston. Here's their chance. Madden at the back. Oh, Simon Mott, Madden has marked. He read it beautifully against Crawley. Madden marks 20 metres from goal. They're purely reactionary marks, those, aren't they? You can't say one player was better than the other in that situation. It's just that Crawley was just didn't have his body just in the right place. And Madden just chipped in and took that mark. Purely well, St. reaction. St Kilda have had their chances down the other end, Don, and well, Essendon will probably go down for the first time in ages and kick a goal. Will Simon make the distance? <laughs> Bruce McAvaney will take threes on here. Simon Madden. I think he's goal. He has. He's a happy man. It's been a classic opening to the season with Hawthorne Geelong yesterday, and now Essendon and the Saints. Off the ground by Denham to half forward. Oh, Buick holding. versus Dwyer. Somerville looking for a handball. Breaks a tackle, then tries a chip. Morris goes to the safety. Devonport. Will he try and run it out? Well, he does. But it's still in play. Morris to Burke. Inside to Devonport again. The Saints get away with it to half back. Missed by Newport. Recovers. Chips it to Harvey. To Flanagan. To Harvey again. Johnston oh, played well it beautifully. Done. At least he stopped the flow. Now Fletcher, no one to back him up. Goes inside. Dwyer from 50. Kicks it poorly. And it'll run out. So a chance missed by St Kilda. It's yes. thrilling stuff though, isn't it? From one end to the other. Really, yeah. that effort by O'Dwyer. Should have been a little better, I think. Dwyer. But uh, that was a poor kick by Mick Dwyer. He could have steadied. He was under no pressure. Low versus Simon Madden. Chris Danaher gets in a hand pass. Gary O'Donnell. The short pass is on to Johnston. And he's played pretty well, David Johnston. On to Bomber Thompson. Now Gary O'Donnell. They're controlling the ball. O'Donnell wide. Kick it. Off the ground by Long. The race is on. Wanganine versus Nathan Burke. Wanganine putting the pressure on. He's desperate, but well done, Nathan Burke, as he kicks it out and takes it to the line. Now, Wanganine is known for his pace, but on that occasion, Nathan Burke put himself in front, and he was not going to be outdone in that area. He is a very quick player, Nathan Burke. Flanagan and Somerville at half forward for the Bombers. Oh, holding. Yeah, Flanagan right round the back. There's Pekin to Newport at centre wing with a bounce. Kick it to try and run him down. Newport under pressure and kicks it out of bounds on the full. So the kick it effort was worth it in the end. Coming off uh, Hurd and Dick about to come on for Essendon. O'Donnell takes a fly against the other number 10, Flanagan. Newport cleverly to Pickett, who swings it over to Allen, who now swings onto his left and goes for Lockett. That's his target. And Big Tony just pushes Fox out of the way legitimately and takes the mark. 
That was a magnificent kick from Tim Allen. The loping left footer left, let a 60 metre go, and that's the way you want to deliver it as a full forward because you want to go one out with your opponent. If you can get the ball quickly into the forward line, that's what you look for. And on that occasion, the best way to bring it in is with a long kick, as displayed on that occasion by Tim Allen. Terrific play. Five goals for Lockett. He's, he's missed a few today, but he won't miss this. 20 metres out and put the Saints in front for number six for Tony. He's got it. 15, 16, 16, 8. Well, a very dramatic those goal umpires. We wait for his signal. We seem to hesitate. And then finally give their verdict. I thought it was a point on that occasion. Tony Lockett has kicked his six. Well, it's been a good battle down there. He's tried very hard, Brad Fox, against uh, a champion full forward. Look how big and strong he is. And he even makes uh, Brad Fox look a little bit on the slim side of the bulk. So we're back to the centre, a vital centre bounce. St Kilda by two points. Madden goes early. Who's going to get it out? It's Essendon. Mark Thompson working hard. Crawley and yes, Salmon. Yes, the umpire saw it. Salmon was holding Crawley. Well, really, you could almost have paid advantage, but uh, it's been transferred down to Nathan Burke. Now under Crawley. Now under Grant. The Saints have had a lot of loose men in this quarter. Winmar receives from Morris. Winmar on the lead is Stewie Lowe. And he's pulled. No, it's still in play. Allen went without it. Fletcher caught, taken by Allen again. Looks for Conklin, and he's found him on the boundary line. Is this going to be the break? It was a good kick again by Allen. He's setting up a lead if Conklin wants it. And Conklin is right on the boundary line. It will take a beautiful kick from there. He missed the sitter before. And Bruce McAvaney wouldn't back him at threes on. But uh, this will bring the house down if he can kick this from the boundary line. He should be able to bring this right to left, Peter, because it's a right foot kick. Frankie Coughlin steadies. It's not bad, but he just hooks it slightly and puts it through for behind. And the Essen supporters breathe a sigh of relief because the margin is still only three points. Harvey to bring it back in. Simon Madden provides the lead. Harvey kicks it to him. And the veteran takes it. Just keeps on keeping on, doesn't he, this man? Madden to centre wing. He's looking for uh, Willie Dick. Throws himself at it. Bauer. Back to Dick. Can't break the tackle, but gets a handball, but straight to Harvey, who then gets around Dick too easily. And kicks to the pocket and finds low. Simon will have to get back quickly because they're looking for Lockett. 16 marks for low. There's a kick to Lockett. One out now. Clark went to ground. Lockett in there over the top. And the umpire will have it. I think in the old days they used to call that stacks on the mill. <laughs> what do they call it nowadays, Bruce? Ball up. Bounce down. Whatever you like, Don. Right in front of the St Kilda goal. They lead by three points. Lockett taps it down with the left hand, sucking off the ground by Pekin. And one point is the result. So they breathe a little easier, the Bombers, because now they trail by four points. So there's nothing in this game. It's been that way all day. Conditions perfect now for football. The sun has gone behind those clouds. <laughs> I thought you might mention that. The players have been worried about the sun all day. Of course, is Fletcher. He's kicked it straight to Buick. He can go off with it. He steadies. Now he can go with a hand pass here. He does. Chris Danaher, who thought he was going to be brought down. Somerville at the back should mark here. Well done. He taps it on instead of going for the mark. Willie Dick. Johnston trying hard. Goes in to get it again. Wanganeed waits at the back. Players charging on top of it. And the umpire, Gavin Dorb, will come in and bounce. Willie Dick's skill level, not quite what it should be, Peter. He should have really hit the player with that left-hand handball on that occasion. They would have been away, Essendon. Flanagan, Fletcher, 
There's uh, Dick on the left foot only as far as Morris who goes off half back. Low the target. He's taken 16 of these already today. Here's Harvey under pressure now. Good kick though by Harvey. Had not an option in sight. Been very solid today, Mark Harvey, on that half back flank. Well, still less than a kick between the two teams. And going at it for uh, an hour and three quarters, 15 18 to 16 8. It was a good kick by Mark Harvey because waiting for it there was uh, Robert Harvey. And speaking of Robert Harvey, there he is. Oh, they've created loose men here. Craig Devonport in long. Lockett. Tony Lockett couldn't mark. He races in after it again, the big fella. He slips over this. Three Essendon players. Brad Fox. David Flood. Oh, Flood's kicked it out of defence straight to Flanagan. Flanagan goes inside to Greg. Dean Greg hooks it around the corner up in front of goal. The big men are there. Low and look at which one. And no, it's, it's a, a push kick, in the back. Essendon's way. And it will go the Bombers' way to David Flood because they were playing in front. Good defensive play. Flood goes wide. Johnston versus Dwyer. Johnston over the back. Here's Devonport. Goes wide to Winmar. With him is Bauer. Still Winmar recovered brilliantly. Goes to the goals. And what a kick by Winmar. He celebrates and so do the St. Fans as they draw away. 16-18 to 16-8. And Don, only very special players can produce a magic moment like that. You've summed it up, Bruce. I was going to call him magic or mercurial. Nicky Winmar on that occasion. Hard on that boundary line. He's done some, some, some sensational things in his career. None less than that spectacular leap in the second quarter where he crashed around in the centre square. But that, what a magnificent goal. Ten points ahead, St Kilda. Well, punch time for the Bombers. They must score the next goal. St Kilda been getting it out of the middle. Harvey. Oh, Winmar again. They're off and running the Saints. Newport. Winmar. 50 metres from goal, lock it. Oh, beautiful forward play, great play, Winmar to the big champion foot forward. And if he kicks this, it will be seventh goal, and it could be shut the gate for the Bombers, the Valiant Bombers. Well, nine goals is the record, Peter. Bruce and killed the player, Bill Moyer. But the record against Essendon holds or what? Holds the record against Essendon. Nine, nine goals, 19-33. Well, he's going for his seventh. He is directly in front. He very rarely misses these. Tony Lockett. Bang. And it's a goal. Well, a mighty roar goes round the arena for the Saints. They lead by 16 points. Salmon with the tap. Can the Bombers kick a couple of goals in a hurry? Dick's handle not good. Long shrugs a tackle cleverly. Yeah, then Grenville to Buick, who has to run sideways, has the ball smothered. Wanganeen and Burke. Burke and Wanganeen. Throw it in the pocket. He's done well today, and it's good to see Greg go across and congratulate him. Also Newport, well done, Nathan Burke. The enthusiasm of the St Kilda players certainly very high. They sniff victory. Vacant goal square here for Essendon. Need a goal out of this movement. Madden over the top to Grenville. It'll take something extra. Here's O'Donnell to kick it. He does. He's put it through. They're not dead yet. 17-8 to 17-18. Grenville did it very well. well. What about the hit out from Madden? He started behind Flanagan. A nice little touchdown. Grenville who started on the half back line in today's game. Playing up half forward now. Read it beautifully down in front of the pack and turn the handball on a platter to O'Donnell. I thought he was going to muck it up, might have run that little bit too far, but still just got his foot to it. Ten points the difference, they could come back. Another centre break, could be a decider here. Well, it's been a topsy-turvy type of game. Let's see if the Bombers can go forward again. Derek Kicken swings onto the left foot, a good kick, a penetrating kick. Oh, good mark. They've Red got the ball. last two centre breaks, isn't it? Grenville, they want goal. To get with him one kick of the Saints. Madden, over the back, is Willie Dick. A hand pass from Devonport. Comes to Russell Morris. Oh, this is kick straight to kick it. Will it sit for him? He waits. He's got it. Derek kick it. 
Brendan Bauer, the short pass is on, and Peter Sutherland is marked 60 metres from goal. Well, he's going to muck it up then, kicking it seemed a little casual. Not a good pass from Bauer, but it still found his mark. Now, he could kick this ball, quick this goal from here, some of all. I've seen him kick them before. He is a prodigious kick of the football if he can get onto it. Well, what a moment it'll be if he does. He's 65 metres out. Drop punt, times it pretty well. Madden in the goal square being hustled out of it. Buick just missed a burp over the top. Players claiming three kicks left, right and centre there. That would be a goal here to Essendon. Well, oh, really lift the stand, wouldn't it? 45,000 here today. They've enjoyed every moment of this. Been a really classic encounter, hasn't it? Madden and Flanagan. Frawley. Grenfell. O'Donnell to try and take a super mark. Well played, Grant, over the top. And Morris played it well. Can O'Donnell rob Pekin? It's an important football to win here. What a moment here. O'Donnell well goes to ground. Done. He's caught. He's holding it. It's St Kilda's footy. Well, it was a good effort by O'Donnell. Maybe he should have played it on, but he really didn't have any assistance as they break St Kilda. You're dead right, Don. You hit the nail on the head. There was three St Kilda. One and O'Donnell knew he had to keep it in. Harvey. Uh, Ford, Mark Harvey at the back. Players race at the ball. Oh, a chance for the Saints here. Stephen Clark smothered. Beautiful smother. Now Dean Gregg from 30 metres. Gregg fires a goal and hits the post. Oh, this game has got everything. A fantastic game of football. Three and a half minutes of play left. The margin is 11 points. They're still in with a chance the Bombers. Chris Danaher making the smother there under pressure. So Fox to bring her back in. They've got to be really spot on now, Essendon. Every football has got to be a winner. Winmar goes early against Bauer. Oh, that's a free kick, kick, surely, yes. The umpires pick that. Winmar coming from behind. I thought he'd take the mark, but no. He realised he just couldn't get there and infringed on Bauer. To centre wing. Somerville at the back of Harvey. Did he give away a free kick? Here's Morris to Winmar, who's been the big winner today. Kicks to the pocket. Salmon should get back. It's going to be a hard one. Fox, Salmon and Lockett. Nice tap on by Stephen Newport in that pack. Just a little deflection. Salmon slowly getting to his feet. Oh, Is he right? Really? Come on, Paul. They need you to just throw in. Don't worry about the cramp. <laughs> well, he shrugged it off, I think, Don. 121 to 110. Salmon, after the advice from Don Scott. The hit out went straight to Stephen Clark. Did he throw that? No, he didn't. The ball rolls over the line. It'll be a throw in. Time clock ticking down. Two minutes and 45 seconds of play left in this game. Essendon have to race it up and score a quick goal to have any chance. It's been a classic game of football. This is Bauer. Loses it in the tackle. Another good drink. A long time to get rid of it. Good tackle against Sam. Back it comes to Greg. Greg fires a goal, a long kick. And Dean Greg has gold and he's a happy man. And that sealed it for St Kilda. And for the Saints, Lockett finished up with seven goals. Allen got three and Winmar two. And for Bombers, kick at three and two each to Madden, O'Donnell, Chris Danaher and Dick. Round two. Good evening everyone. St Kilda today broke a 20 game losing sequence against Essendon to win its opening match of the 1992 season. The Saints trailed at quarter time after the sharp shooting Bombers kicked seven goals straight but St Kilda fought back to snatch the game by 17 points. Lockett booted seven while teammate Morris was reported. The big question at Waverley was who was going to get the job on Lockett and Brad Fox found out early why the spearhead is one of the biggest draw cards in the league. But the Bombers hit back in the space of 10 minutes, kick three, highlighted by an Izzard burst which resulted in a torn hamstring. It was a pressure cooker out in the middle. Coglin's snap from the pocket was amazing. But with seven different goal kickers, Essendon went to the first break, nine points up. Frustrated by the close attention, Lockett lost his cool. Then Allen showed a touch of class from a throw-in. Winmar was lucky to survive a huge leap, so was Fox after a fight with Lockett, and at half time the Saints led by three points. Lockett got his fourth goal from a strong mark, but the Saints turned the lead over with mistakes under pressure. Kick it made them pay. Setties, drop punt, puts it through. With just eight points separating the sides, the first goal of the last term was important, and Harvey broke through for the Saints. Harvey shoots a goal. To win the contest, someone had to produce something special. And what a kick by Winmar. Winmar 